Hey everyone, I'm Corinne Jones with Red River, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a webinar with Microsoft Teams. To schedule a webinar, you're first going to start by selecting the calendar button. Once you're there, you're going to scroll over to the right side and select the drop down beside New Meeting. Here, it will give you the option to schedule a meeting, schedule a webinar, or a live event. For this video, we're going to schedule a webinar, but it's important to note that a webinar can only have up to 1,000 attendees. On this first page, you're going to add the details that you want all your internal presenters to see. You're going to add a title, you're going to add the required presenters, and then any details that are necessary for this webinar. You can go ahead and select the date and the time like you would any other Microsoft Teams meeting. But what's different with a webinar is that you have the ability to create your own custom landing page and registration form all from within Microsoft Teams. To do so, you're going to go up here and select View Registration Form. This is going to open up a page where you can fill out your actual event details. You can add in a title, a description, information about your speakers, and you can also add in additional fields that you would like to know about the people signing up for your webinar. I went ahead and created one about how to host a webinar with Microsoft Teams. You can see that I have my title and I've uploaded a custom banner image for the event. To send out this registration link to anyone you'd like to invite to the webinar, you can just copy this link right here. To view what the invite will look like for your attendees, go ahead and click View in Browser. This is going to launch the landing page and show you exactly what the page will look like to those that you invite. So you may wonder where all this information gets stored and how you can access the contact information for those who sign up for your event. To view this, we're going to go back to the webinar on your calendar and double click to open up the details. Here is where you can download the file of all of the people who have registered for your webinar, and it will include all the information that they filled out in your required fields. Another important thing to note is that this is where you also go to change some of the important settings for your webinar. So to do so, you're going to click Change Options. This is going to bring up a page that gives you additional control over what is allowed during your webinar. You can select who can bypass your lobby. You can always allow callers to bypass the lobby, announce when callers join or leave. I recommend to always leave that on no so that you don't have a dinging noise in the background. Here's where you can select specific people who can present during the webinar and have control over the experience for your attendees. Do you want them to be allowed to turn on their mic and interact? Do you want them to be able to turn on their camera? Do you want a meeting chat or do you want people to be able to react to what's going on during the webinar as well? Once you've finished changing these settings, you can go ahead and click save and everything for your webinar is complete. Back in this page, you can also customize the registration form if you have any last minute changes that you want to go ahead and edit or make to the page. And again, you can copy the registration link to email out or send out through chat to those who you want to invite to the webinar. Well, that's it. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so that you're notified when we release video two where we show you how to produce a webinar.